I'm here at HPE Discover with Chip Parte, and IoT, of course, is something that all enterprises are, are looking at integrating in various fashions. You guys are partnering with GE. Could you talk about how they are enabling IoT? Yeah, thanks. So um, GE Digital has a new solution called uh, Predix. It's a platform as a service focused on the industrial IoT world. Um, and so from a IoT in general, a lot, a lot of platforms work on grabbing data from sensors and, co and collating that data. And the Predix platform absolutely does that. But where it really starts to differentiate itself is you start looking at the years and years of experience that GE has, the asset models, the data models, the analytics they have across all the various industrial verticals where they've been doing business for 20, 30, 40, 50 years, and they layer that on top of this IoT platform. So you're not just enabling the data collection and the full visual of all of that data across all the various assets and sensors that might be in this industrial environment, but then having the historical proven data models and asset models that you can pipe that data into to help accelerate the result sets that you get back. Uh, and so that's really been the key differentiator for GE is the ability to not only capture the data, which a lot of people in the IoT world talk about capturing data from the sensors, but it's then being able to apply that into these proven methods to help drive the outcomes for the customer. Um, and so when we, when we started looking around in the IoT space, that really made GE Digital the premier partner for us uh, to look at to help accelerate what we're doing in that space. And so if GE is kind of already doing this on their own, what is, what is HPE bringing to the table? Yep. So um, GE started with a uh, cloud-focused um, architecture, and the idea was I'll put some gateway, some you know, smaller technology gateways out in that industrial environment. It'll talk to the various sensors and control systems in those environments, pull the data to the cloud, uh, and then a lot of the magic will happen in the cloud. And there's a tremendous number of use cases where that works. Um, but you also have, because of the types of industries that GE does business in, you have regulatory control issues, you have data sovereignty issues, uh, you have latency issues. You know, if I've got a oil rig in the middle of the North Sea, being dependent on a cloud-based solution may not be the best option because I can't always be confident in the kind of connectivity that I would have. And even if it was solid, I may not be able to afford it. So from an HPE standpoint, we've been partnering with GE Digital to help develop technology solutions around the Predix platform to allow customers to consume it in a hybrid IT fashion, whether it's at the edge, uh, whether it's in a data center or a private cloud fashion, or in some cases, leveraging the public cloud as well. So depending on the customer, depending on the environment, depending on the kind of use case they're trying to solve for, any combination of those technology or those consumption models may be required. And so from an HPE standpoint, we've been working on helping to develop those solutions so that when a customer comes and says, I really love the Predix platform, but I need to consume it this way, we, we have an offering that's proven, tested, pre-built, and ready to go for that customer. So aside from helping with like the regulatory and compliance issues and, and just logistical issues of like your example of a, a boat in the middle of the ocean somewhere. Uh, are, are there any learnings that you guys got that it's actually advantageous to be closer to the edge with the compute? Well, there's a lot of examples, and, and I'll give you one. So there was a, uh, a factory in Germany uh, where we were doing a joint proof of value with GE Digital. And even though it was wired, uh, and had connectivity, and it wasn't in some remote area like in the middle of the ocean, it, it was just challenging to have a consistent network connection. Right? So this is not even regulation, this is just simple technology um, based on where it was located and the type of connectivity options that were available. Well, if that customer starts to put in automated use cases that say, when you see these things happening from the sensors, I want you to adjust the temperature and the pressure on that die cut machine. Well, if I've automated that and it's dependent on a network connection that goes down, what happens to my business, right? So 
There's a lot of use cases where if you're going to automate and let an IoT solution drive how your equipment is working, how your production is working, reducing the number of failure points and making sure that you can just process the data right there on the spot, see the results that you need, push that right back to the machinery and have that change in real time, the more you can consolidate that and bring that down, it's uh, you know, much more advantageous to the customer. So, and it's just one example. And there's other examples where you just need a quick enough turnaround time. So being able to have server level, data center server level capabilities in something like HPE's edge line converged systems that are already uh, pre-certified for GE's Predix platform running right there at the edge and doing all that processing in real time you know, just accelerates the, the value play for the customer. That's very cool. So you're, you're making the edge uh, a, a resilient place uh, above and beyond just adding the, the compute for compliance. Yeah, exactly. And, and there's another example. The demo booth that we have on the other side of the wall here, uh, we're actually using video to do um, unstructured data analytics of the video of the people walking by and we've got an algorithm running that says identify a person from everything else that's in the background um, and if you're analyzing that sort of video in real time the last thing you want to do is send that all the way through some network channel to a data center or to the cloud for processing so being able to do real-time analytic on a live video feed uh, and something as powerful as the edge line to be able to do that it makes a lot of sense because I don't I don't know what I need out of that video, so I definitely don't want to pay to transport and store all of the video. What I want is I want the analytic to run in real time, find what I'm looking for, grab that information, and only send that up to my data center or to the cloud, public or private, for further processing. So it really helps to create the right mix of technology to power that sort of a use case. Um, and even though we're using the video to do uh, to identify people, uh, you could very easily in an industrial setting use that for video QA, right? So I've I've trained the model to understand what, let's say, I'm uh, manufacturing uh, computer chips. So I've trained the model to say this is what that chip's supposed to look like, and these are the spacing I need to have between all the circuits. I can have a high def camera looking at what's coming off an assembly line in real time, look at that image, compare that to what I expect it to be give me a tolerance rating and then instantly identify those items that need further QA and then we can now do all of that in an automated fashion. You could retrofit that in any factory and you're talking about a high dev camera with a couple hundred bucks and an edge line system all running there locally on the edge in real time. You know, it's a pretty powerful use case. That's very cool. Yeah. Thanks, Trip. Yep. Thank you.